Okay, hello everyone. I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, a comparison of launchers for the Arcos 10.1 Internet tablet, and uh, this is the uh, 10 inch. Just in case no one is 10.1 inch screen capacitator. Just in case uh, guys and gals aren't uh, familiar with this product. Okay. Uh, so first off, I'm in regular launcher right now, um, and we know how launcher works. Uh, it's not really difficult to understand. Um, my apps here. Um, we also know that if we turn it sideways, or it does have the accelerometer support in it, so it does have the screen orientation change. <clears throat> Okay, um, so when I press the home, it's going to ask me which one I want to use, which launcher. So I have ADW Go Helix, you know, the default launcher. Which, this is the one that came with it. Launcher Pro and Zeme. Um, so I'm going to start off with my first video of the first three launchers. And I'm not even going to mess with launcher because if you own an Arcos 10.1, then you know uh, how this launcher works. So let's start with, in the second one, of course, I'll do Launcher Pro and Zim. Okay, so let's start off with ADW. Okay, so right off the bat, it looks a little bit, it looks similar on top, uh, but there's the little screen pointers here, right? Um, there's a little sidebar over here on this, and you can customize this actually pretty easily. Uh, there we go, let's see. Oh. There we are. Uh, and the middle menu pops up once you hold your finger down. You can remove it, edit it, or uninstall whatever you have here. I'm just going to hit the back button just because it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, of course I can change screens this way. Um, but one thing I think that you can do is you can pinch. There it is, and it comes down. Um, there we go, there they are. And I can see all my screens here. I don't know if you can see that. And instead of scrolling over to it or pressing the uh, jump keys that are, you know, here on the sides, I can just click on which screen I want and it goes automatically to it. Uh, let's go back to home screen. There we go. Um, so that's pretty much one of the really exciting features um, of this particular. Uh, launcher. Um, you can see it does support the uh, video wallpapers and I can add buttons, change my wallpaper, you know, search of course. Let's click on edit and I guess edit allows me to edit my entire section of my launcher. If I go back here and then go to settings. There we are. So it goes automatically back to back to my settings. No big deal. Okay, so now the next one I'm going to choose is Go Launcher. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do one thing, the screen orientation. Let's check out the screen orientation. It does change orientation here. You can see that there's no real problems there. Okay. Now, Go Launcher. Let's check that one out. Okay, Go Launcher. It's not as practical for this tablet because it doesn't change orientation. Um, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, you can see that I've kind of played with it a little bit. There's actually an icon missing here and here as well. And you can edit and delete those icons uh, as you wish. The shortcuts. I can choose my icon, change gesture response. Let's do that. So I can disable it, shortcut, show home screen. Um, let's do that when I click on it. Let's do show hide center this bar. So when I clicked on it, nothing changed. Okay. Oops. I'm having a hard time here. There we go. Okay. Um, so obviously it works the same way. I mean, it just goes back and forth. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, it has pinch gestures as well. You can see that each screen, each home screen comes up. No, I can add, I guess, more if I want to. But I'm not going to. Okay, next launcher. The last third last one of this video is going to be Helix Launcher. And here's Helix. Helix looks a little bit a little bit different. It's pretty cool actually. It actually tells you your frame speed up here, your frames per second. And as, as you can see, I'm running on the maximum conditions for uh the Arcos 10 1. Um phone dialer, this is kind of funny. Uh all the launchers put phone on the phone dollar, but there's no dollar. It just goes directly to contacts. And I'm just... See, there's all my contacts and whatnot. Okay. Um, oh, this is cool. A little bar on the side. There's a little dock up here. There it is. It's a little slow responding. No little pinch gestures or anything of that nature. And you can actually change the style of this dock here on the side if you want. No big deal. Okay, so that's all for today. Um, as far as these four launchers are concerned, I would say that I prefer the ADW launcher. Um, simply because it looks a little bit different and um, that is going on here it's, it's loading up slowly and uh, because it's different than than what you're used to and it's something kind of cool to get to get used to so I don't know that's kind of what I came up with download it if you want uh, it may be on market um, I got the APK from another source, so you're more than welcome to check on Google if you want to do that. Okay, uh, the next video I'll have a comparison of Launcher versus Launcher Pro and Zine.